what I've learned is that God is always there for you and knocking at the door. You just got to let him in. He puts people in your life for a reason. And you're also put in someone else's life for a reason. My name is Anthony Wilson, and this is my story. I had a great childhood all throughout high school, me and my brother playing, playing sports. Football was always plan A. I didn't really have a plan B. I played quarterback pretty much all my life until I uh, tore my ACL my senior year, halfway through the season. And uh, just kind of like lost hope after that. Um, just had issues throughout high school that poured over to college and community college and tried to play baseball and I ended up getting my scholarship pulled from that first year. The relationship with my parents were strained through high school and into college because of all that. Basically abandoned my family, took the car out to Chicago, tried living out of hotels and stuff and had to live out of my car and just basically really lost everything. Eventually called my mom when I was out there. She picked me up from Chicago, brought me back home and lived with my grandpa for a year. When I was first coming out of like my depression and every, everything and my brother, he had given me some tips on how to find God. And I told him that was the first time I was gonna read the Bible and he recommended to start in the Gospels. And I, start, and I read the first eight chapters of Matthew and I just you knew I had to share my story with my brother and how like God was moving in my life. I was out celebrating my dad's birthday. My neighbor came up to me, asked about like, what my next step in life basically was with college and all that. And he asked me what I wanted to do. And it was just like such a simple question, but like felt like it was like God talking to me. And uh, I told him I wanted to play football and just almost like broke down crying there. <laughs> and two months after that, I had gotten a text from my old quarterback coach who asked me for an opportunity to play football again out in England for three years. And I was surprised at first and didn't really think it was real. <laughs> and I didn't know it at the time, but I knew that, I know now that that was God answering a prayer that I didn't know he was listening to. Through the church, I was found rooted and it was a great program and taught me a lot. And then after that, it was Willow Kids, uh, being able to serve. And, and I want to get baptized because this is my next step. My next step after baptism is going out to England and playing football for three years and just being able to inspire people through what God has brought me through and to share my faith with others and lead people towards Jesus. Just very proud of him and the journey that he's been on with his faith and that we were all able to come and experience it with him. Just thankful that Cameron was there for him and that he leaned on Cameron and, uh, and, and they both had that relationship to, uh, to build uh, their faith together. Such a blessing, I can't believe, and I'm so like proud to see how God's working in his heart. Um, I'm most excited to see just how he continues to mature in his faith and can serve his community, serve God and God's people. If you're feeling that calling to get baptized and God's putting that on your heart, just don't hesitate and it's well worth it.